Hey everyone, in this video we are going to implement page rank using points distribution method. I assume you have been already introduced to this method in the previous videos. So I will just be briefing out the technique and then we will start the implementation. So in this method what happens is we start with assigning a fixed equal number of points to every node in the graph. After that every node distributes its points to its neighbors. Uh, by neighbors I mean the nodes that are connected to this node by an outlink. So basically what we do is we take a node and we look at its outlinks and the nodes that are connected to this node through an outlink get an equal share of points from this node. For example, if there is a node which has 100 points and it has two outlinks, so basically it has two neighbors, these two neighbors will be getting 50 points each from this node. That's, that's called points distribution. In case the node is having four neighbors and it's having 100 points, in that case every uh, neighbor will be getting 25 points each from this node. Now that point distribution happens for every node in the graph. That is called one iteration. So every iteration, so after every iteration, the points that every node contains keeps changing. Uh, for example, initially, if we assign some 100 points to every node and we perform this points distribution, uh, after one iteration, the, the points that every node contains will change. And we keep repeating this process and after every iteration, the points will keep changing. However, after some point, after some number of iterations, what happens? <clears throat> the points uh, do not change that is even after distributing points the points that the nodes were containing earlier is same as the points that the nodes will be containing after the iteration that happens because the uh, the the number of points that a node distributes is equal to the number of points that it gets from the nodes through which it is connected with an uh, with an in link so we basically get a convergence and as soon as we get the convergence we stop at this point, every node will be having some number of points. After attaining the, the convergence, every node will be having some points. And we can sort the, uh, the nodes based on that, uh, that point distribution. Basically, we can rank the nodes. And that ranking is called page rank. So that was about the points distribution method. Uh, now, now let's see the steps that we are going to follow for the implementation. So as a first step, we are going to take a directed graph. Uh, as you might be knowing for uh, page rank, it, it, it's, it's uh, better to take a directed graph because uh, the, no, the points are distributed based on the outlinks. So we are going to create the directed graph. You can also take, uh, make use of a function from network X to generate the, the directed graph, but we will be creating a graph here by ourselves. After that, we'll be assigning 100 points to each node. So that is the initialization of the points to every node. As I told you, after that, every node will distribute the points. So as a third step, every node will keep distributing its points to its neighbors. And this process will keep repeating until we get a convergence. That is until a point where the, the node's points stop changing. Uh, that's where we'll stop. Now after that we will be getting some uh, distribution of points amongst these nodes and we can rank the nodes based on the points that they have accumulated. That ranking will be called page ranking, uh, page rank basically. Uh, in order to validate whether the method is working fine or not, what we will do is as a last step is we will make use of the inbuilt page rank method from network x and we will see the the ranking that we get from that method and we'll compare the ranking that we uh, got from our uh, implementation so these are the steps that we're going to implement let's get started with the implementation <laughs> 